All right, now, real, real quick, yo. I just, we just got to talk about it real quick, man. Because it's, it's really played out. It really is. Now, we got all these people want to walk around here talking about they the chosen. The chosen, the chosen, the chosen. 144, blah, blah, blah. Now, y'all already know, if y'all been tuned to my channel, y'all already know that I see numbers all the time. Okay, my numbers is different. Then other people's numbers, you know, I get, you know, 11, 11, 12, 12, um, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 4, 3, 3, 3, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, some of y'all people, y'all get excited about that. Me, I don't. I don't get excited about that because ever since I started seeing these numbers, my life really hasn't changed. I've been in this Truman Show or AKA Groundhog Day for the last, I would say, 10 years, close to 10 years, whatever. Who's, who's even counting? I don't even count no more. And people like to get excited when they see 222 two, two, and 333 three, and they thinking that, oh man, the universe is listening and um, money is coming or whatever, whatever. People just got their own speculation about what these numbers even mean. And then even when you sit here and you go and try to talk to like people that study numerology, it's basically really their opinion. They really don't know. So when I see these numbers, I see 144 all the time. Okay. Is what is the universe telling me that I'm 144? I don't know what the universe is telling me. You know what I'm saying? But I know one thing. I just know that I'm being gang stalked. OK, and I have thousands, if not millions of people out to get me. I never knew that when Tupac says me against the world, I never I never knew back then that this is what he meant. So going back to the chosen thing, people say, oh, man, well, you're chosen. You're you're chosen by God and you're the chosen 144 and blah, blah, blah. Empowered individuals. And we. We create these titles to, I guess, make ourselves feel good. But in all reality, if you were stuck in my simulation, seeing the same old patterns, repeated patterns over and over and over, and ain't really nothing changed, not for the better. Not for the better. Nothing changed. Okay? Ever since I've been in this program... Basically, my whole life has been sabotaged. You know, people disappeared. We talking girlfriends. You know, they scared. They can't call. They can't talk to me. My, my, my daughters don't talk to me. You know what I'm saying? My whole family is all in on this. Everybody being secretive. Everybody. And the, and the thing about it, these people know. I'm, 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 I'm giving, I'm, I'm letting you know that these people that's in my surroundings, they know what's going on. And if you're a TI, it's the same with you. They know the, your family members, your mother, your father, your brothers and sisters, your wife, whatever. They know what's going on. They know what you're going through, but everybody is playing the dumb role. So if you look at the situation, I'm I'm the one that's chosen for this program. Wow. Whoopie do. So I'm supposed to be excited about this. I'm supposed to jump for joy because I am the chosen one. I am the mark man. It's nothing cool people about being the mark. Okay. You never want to be the mark. You never want to be the one that's walking around with a target on your back. Okay. So you can miss me with all this chosen, empowered individual. You, you're you're uh, the apple of God's eye and all this, man. Look, you can miss me with that because I didn't come down here to be a mark. I came down this joint to enjoy life, to have fun. I did not come down here to be shadow banned, can't get a job, can't create a career, you can't do this. You can't do that. You're singled out. 
Nobody wants to, nobody want to um, be cool with you. And then the people that's around you are fake. Wow. You mean to tell me that's what you want? That is your definition of being chosen? Yeah, yeah, you are chosen, all right. You are chosen to be a part of this program. You are chosen to be a marked man in this program. And you are chosen to be attacked by this program, sabotaged by this program. You're chosen to suffer from directed energy weapons from this program. You're chosen to be isolated from your loved ones, from your family, from your friends. You, if, you're, if you're a female, you're not going to be able to have no male. It ain't going to be a real relationship if you're a female. If you're a female and you got a man, he's a perp. And, if, and vice versa. If you're a man and if you got a woman, unless she's being targeted with you, She's a perp, and that's how serious this program is. This program is that serious. So people be walking around here wearing this chosen word on their sleeves. I'm going to tell you, look, if this is what chosen is all about, then I don't want to be chosen. I don't want to wake up every day and look at my phone and it's 444. 11, 11, over and over and over again. You don't understand that if y'all haven't watched the movie Groundhog Day, then I suggest you do that. You know, this type of, they make these movies on purpose. You got to understand, you got to understand that this is all, people call it a uh, predictive program and you can call it what you want. Look, these programs, they, I mean, these movies are based off of real life events. Okay? You got to understand that we live in a construct. This is a, a computer simulation reality. You are a computer simulation reality. Your brain is a computer. Your body is all a computer. You are, you are electrical. You are electric you are an electrical being. OK, we're like inside of a simulation, inside of a simulation, inside of a simulation. And it seemed to me that the whole the whole duty of the situation is to break free from the simulation. I don't look at being chosen as a good thing. I look, it's like this. Let's just say if. You know, if you got some gangs or mafia or whatever. And they're looking for the chosen victim. <laughs> Would you want to be the chosen victim? If everybody knew that, that Billy Ray is the next target. Everybody knew it except Billy Ray. Billy Ray is the only one that don't know that he's the one that has been chosen to get assassinated. Billy Ray. You know who Billy Ray is. Billy Ray, he lives right down the street. Billy Ray is the next victim to be chosen, to be assassinated, humiliated, whatever, 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 whatever they got under their sleeves planted for Billy Ray. Billy Ray is the next target. You think Billy Ray is happy about that? You think Billy Ray going to be walking around here saying, man, I'm the chosen one, man. Praise the Lord. I am chosen to be the next victim. They're going to grip me up and chop me to pieces. This is not something to be bragging about, people. You need to cut this crap out. Because if you're really in this simulation, you're not bragging. <laughs> you're actually disgusted. Okay? You're actually frustrated. And it actually gets on your nerves. Even if you might smile about it, you might joke, you might crack jokes, whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, you want to go on. You want to live your life. I can't wait to get back into the gym. I can't wait to do what I love to do. But who in the world want to go to the gym and you being harassed and people bothering you and people are chasing you down because you are the chosen one. You are the chosen one that's on the radar for people to harass you. So as soon as they see, as soon as they get the red dot notification that the chosen one is in the vicinity, 
driving whatever particular car you driving or even if you're on a bus or on a bicycle or whatever that's the chosen target everybody coming around you um, laughing and, and and snickering and and pointing fingers at you and and um playing these mind games with you you think that's cool you think being the chosen one is something to brag about this ain't nothing to brag about people Stop calling yourself empowered individuals. Stop calling yourself chosen. You need to be upset. You need to be trying to figure out a way to how to get out this program. Instead of, oh man, I'm the chosen one. I'm the chosen one. They mad at me because I'm intelligent. Look, look, I'm gonna tell you, I'm look, we're gonna we're gonna nip this intelligent crap in the in, in the bud right now. Cause the more I listen to y'all targeted individuals out here, it dang gonna show ain't got nothing to do with no intelligence, okay? They did not choose you because you are smart or you are intelligent because a half of y'all, even more than half of y'all, tar so-called targeted individuals are stupid. You lack knowledge, you lack information, you lack understanding. You don't know nothing. You still walking around with some religion that they gave you. So how in the world they're after you for your intellect? You're dumb as a doorknob. So we already know that that's not the case. That can't be the case. They can't be, you can't be the so-called chosen one because you got information. What po what information that you possibly can obtain that they don't already know? These, these so-called entities that control this simulation, you don't, you what you think they stupid? You think they don't know nothing? They didn't already study the science. They know everything. You the one that don't know. You don't know nothing. Some of y'all even think that this reality is real anyway. <laughs> you don't even realize that this is just an illusion. And, and about 80% of y'all still waiting on the Savior to crack open the sky. And y'all are, are going to be the ones that's going to be deceived by the Project Blue Beam. They're going to get you. Because you're still waiting on the Savior to come and rescue your ignorant behind. Ain't nothing cool about being the chosen. Chosen for what? Chosen to come down here and live a terrible life? Chosen to come down here and get gang stalked all day? Chosen to come out here and they trying to force you out, out of society? Forcing you to, to run away from the world? You got to go hide in the sticks? In the dark, in the woods, in the cold, in the heat? That's what you chosen for? <clears throat> that's, what, <clears throat> that's what you come down here for? You come down here to be chosen to be a scientific guinea pig, pig experimentation? You want to be the chosen experimentation, huh? That sounds good, huh? That tickles your fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? You know what I'm saying? If, you're, if your God really, really love you, then why are you going through this? Huh? Why are you going through this? Being chosen is not something to be proud of, people. Like I said before, if somebody got a mark on them, and that is the chosen target. For example, I'm going to give an example. How many of y'all seen the movie um, with Ice-T? What's the name of that movie? Yeah, it's called um, Survival, Surviving of the Game. Surviving the Game. Ice-T. He played a movie years ago. If you've never seen the movie, check it out. The movie is based on they was eradicating bums off the streets. These, these group of men would... And then you wonder why these bums out here end up missing. Because it's a conspiracy to it. Okay. They was they was they was gathering up these bums off the streets and they would lie to them and told them that they had a job for them. It was in the middle of nowhere and they would take them out there and they would secretly assassinate these people because because they knew that they could get away with it because they was bums and nobody. They had no family. They had no friends. Nobody would even know that they was missing. So they was basically chosen for this program, this particular program. Okay? So, I'm just telling y'all right now that being chosen is not a good thing. Okay? 
is a terrible thing. You have been chosen to be a guinea pig in the Illuminati's agenda. At the and then people be thinking that, oh man, I'm for me to be going through this, I must be chosen. And and you might have heard me say this in the past, but like I said, you know, things change. I start looking at things different now. You see what I'm saying? I look at things different. I might have said it a couple of years ago, but I don't feel that same way no more. And and how I see it, this ain't nothing but just another takedown in the crumbling of the matrix. Because at the end of the day, you're going through this. If you're a targeted individual, you're going through this. Don't forget, somebody went through it before you and somebody's going to go, go, somebody's going to go through it right after you. How I see it, how I see it, everybody on the target list. So what are you saying? You saying that everybody's chosen? You're dang on right. Everybody's chosen. Everybody's chosen. Because at the end of the day, you think these gang stalkers... These gang stalkers, come on, man. If these people are a part of this game, if they're a part of this game, then then it ain't no way out. They know too much. Especially if they've been, you know, directing energy at people. You know, they're secretly assassinating people. This is a this is a secret assassination game. So if you're out here working for the beast. And using their weaponry to secretly, covertly assassinate people. How do you think that you're going to get out of it? You think you're just going to lay back? They always have assassinators to assassinate. They always have assassins to assassinate the assassinators. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, what are you saying, DB? I'm saying everybody's going to be chosen eventually. And being chosen is definitely not a good thing. If I got to go through this, this is if this is what chosen is, I do not want to be chosen. I do don't choose me to put me on the hit list. Don't choose me to put me on the on the damn gonna kill list. I don't want to be chosen. Choose somebody else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me live my life. You see what I'm saying? So that's just a message to whoever wants to receive it. You can believe what you want. If you want to continue to call yourself empowered individual and chosen individual, then you do that. At the end of the day, ain't nothing decent about this program. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I, I got strong. I've gotten stronger. Yes, I've read more books. Yes, yes, I learned a lot. But at the end of the day, I feel as though I could have did all that without this program. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts. So with that being said, holla back. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. DB, as you can see, Gangstalk Assimilation, the best channel on YouTube.